Doing an hourglass workout. Let's go work out. This is really focusing on those hamstrings. Welcome, or welcome back to the vlog. We have Abby here. We are making waffles. Two tablespoons. <gasps> Mother. This is not the best tool for Maybe. this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, actually I have like a, one of those rubber thingies. Maybe that would work better. We're gonna try strawberry first, cause this just looks juicy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like really sweet too. Okay. Look Cheers. How big these are. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good strawberry. You got me falling. We are about to plan the workout for the day. We are doing an hourglass workout. So we're hitting some back, some shoulders, a little bit of core, and then glutes. So we're gonna take you along the whole workout. I'm gonna be kind of explaining how to the, how to the, 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 the. <laughs> I'm gonna be explaining how to do the workouts with a little in-depth, um, some kind of setup too. So if you are new to working out, Hopefully you'll get something really good out of this video, but I'm gonna kind of share how I plan my workouts. Usually I already have a plan, but it depends on the day. I use Core Circle when I don't have like a programmed workout. So here is the setup of picking your workouts. So you can go in and literally tap uh, the places that you wanna work out, the, the muscles. So we're gonna do glutes, shoulders, and back as you can see it highlights it i do have a core circle subscription if you're interested in that i have like i believe four programs out i'm going to be doing a recovery program and stuff coming up so stay tuned for that i always program legs before i do upper body because that takes the most energy so we are going to be doing glute bridges i believe on the th machine superset the rdls with the stiff leg deadlifts another big tip for you guys is if you're trying to increase intensity in your workouts then adding supersets i personally love supersets if you've done any of my programs you know there's probably going to be a superset in your workout we're going to be doing cast glute bridges first workout always start with a workout that is pretty intense it's going to take a lot of energy because you want to be able to have that energy for that workout and not, you know, finishing with something that's going to take a lot out of you because it's just how you set up your workout to be more efficient. After cast glute bridge, we're going to do a superset, RDLs, and straight leg dev lifts. And after that, we are going to hit some upper bodies. I'm going to have this whole workout on core circle. So you guys will see it. It is called hourglass body 526 because 526 is the date love to get casted in a horror movie to be like i would too the I would scream. Like to scream i have such a good scream no i do we scream <laughs> <laughs> i said i said let's both <laughs> like i have like literally the definition of like a bloody murder scream no, mine too because my mom was like you would be really good in like a horror movie i was like i think we should send in our resumes and this video right so here smells like marvel <laughs> Screaming out. Oh no! 
guy that made like uh Would you like a balloon? Us? What what is his name? No, thank you. I'll pass on his movie. <laughs> I think I'd be great in his movie. We're starring in the new horror movie coming out soon. Um we It's called A L. L A. It's called LA. LA. Lindsay Abbey, LA. A story of, of LA. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the streets of LA. The in the streets of LA. That could be like the intro, like we the just trailer. Came out and looking like this after. <laughs> like, hold on. This is We're the like... trailer. In the streets of LA, there was two girls. <laughs> Lindsay and Abby. And then we just scream. <laughs> it's like the, it would just our screams. Like... <laughs> and then and that's like... it. The oh, trailer's that's end. That's it's done. We don't even explain what it's about. That's just it. Abby and Lindsay in the streets of LA. My question for Abby today is one piece of advice that you would give a beginner, a girl that's just getting into fitness and just starting to work out, what is something that you would advise her to do? Um, definitely not worry about what other people think. And then also like, don't be afraid to like ask questions because I mm, feel like mm -hmm. when I was in the gym I was like scared to ask anyone like any questions or I like didn't know how to use mach machines and stuff and also watch videos of how to do stuff like don't be afraid to like ask questions and like learn how to do stuff <laughs> yay we did the pre-workout chat <laughs> about to do a little warm-up a little stretch since we are in this room I can walk you guys through this warm-up because it's worse trying to do that when there's you know other people around so first I call these back and forths we're gonna go literally just back and forth touch the hips stretch the hamstring a little bit and then we just switch make sure you're doing dynamic stretches before your workout so that you're not like making your muscles relax necessarily just make sure they're a little warm and a little stretched out so that you can perform your movements better. Don't neglect the warm up, okay? Okay, next one, we're gonna sit down on our front leg just like this. I call these 180s because you're literally just like turning around. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> these again, open up the hips stretch the hamstring. We're gonna really focus on like the hamstring and the hips today because that's what we're working. <sighs> Depending on really what the workout is, make sure you're like doing warm ups accordingly. You don't have to do a crazy warm up. It doesn't have to take 30 minutes, okay? Just do a little something. Yeah, a quick little butterfly. I don't know if you did gymnastics, but we would always be like, okay, where do we wanna fly to? And then we would like literally fly there. Practice our hinge so that we can get these RDL form perfect. All right. We're gonna literally just bend over. Practice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're gonna run sprints. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> More hamstring stretch. Okay, touch the toes for a second. Okay, so that is it for this warm up. We're about to go and do the workout now. Yeah. This is what we're working with today. This is what it looks like when we have to go to the gym. This is why it takes so long. Create the content for you guys. I'm a ghost. Let's go work out now. Work out, hitting cast glute bridges. We're gonna use the machine, but we found out this was here. So we're gonna do this. Oh my gosh, there's no barbell pad on this. Hold on before I literally like bruise my hips. These, again, pad or some like 
form of a padding, at least. I want to make sure the bench or whatever you're using is like literally right below your shoulder blades and that you can be in a 90 degree angle. This is pretty good, I'd say. Hopefully the music is terribly loud over here. So hopefully it's not gonna copyright this video. Get your feet into place before you push up. Make sure your feet are solid. The weight is gonna be on your heels, all right? And we're, we're gonna push up. Okay. Cast glute bridge means. not as much of a range of motion. <sighs> oh man, <sighs> that was good. All right, we have our last set. The fuel for this last set is, if you can hear it, the song playing in the gym right now. Okay. I added a 25 on each side because if I'm gonna struggle with this last set, might as well struggle with more weight, right? How difficult was this? Huh? One to five, how painful is this? Um, 10. 10 out of five, okay. Three, two, one. Oh my. I literally feel <laughs> like I'm gonna faint. <laughs> I need to lay down. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Ready? So I don't want to get dumbbells. So we're about to superset Smith machine RDLs and Smith machine stuff like deadlifts. I hate doing these onto the Smith machine, but I'm gonna do it anyways because there's no squat racks open. Getting the form for this is so difficult. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Okay, this isn't as bad as it usually is. We're gonna do some stuff like, I usually do this elevated, but it's okay. This is really focusing on those hamstrings, whereas RDLs are more glute focused. So think more knee bend equals more glutes versus straighter legs, it's more hamstring. Next workout, we're supersetting seated rows and lateral raises, dumbbell version. So, let's get it. I swear you can do these for like years and it's so hard to progress in them. Alright, let's go. 15 on each side. One. Done core in a minute. That was a nice pull up. I forget how to do these. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Um, wait, that's the same. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> 
Uh, hold on, let me scoot up so you can actually see me. Okay, not that it's helpful because I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, opposite. I don't know why, this is such a brain workout for me. I look so odd right now. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Okay, on to the second set. Even though I'm really comfy right now. Ready, set, go. One. Fifteen. Feeling good though, feeling accomplished at least. Um, I definitely would not have done abs if she wasn't here. <sighs> Feel good. I haven't done abs in probably like a lot of, lot of months. I do need to start working on strengthening my core though, for sure. Especially like my lower back. Actually really cute, I like this color a lot. This one? Oh my gosh, I love these shirts so much. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I yeah, I'll sadly only be able to wear it to like work out because I just don't like this on a normal occasion. But other than that, they're so comfy. But like the other colors aren't see-through, so I love my black one. Um whew. I need like a little thumbnail picture. Back from the gym. I am back from the gym. I'm at home. I just cooked myself a little bit of food. I'm about to eat, shower, and then I'm gonna start editing. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna end this right now. And I really hope you subscribe because there's a lot of good, exciting content coming especially more educational content. My glute series is coming soon. I have it planned out to be literally like some of the next videos I film. So I appreciate all of you guys for watching and I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Mwah!